holiday season from all of us at 2K Sports as we get set for this NBA presentation. This is Kevin Harlan. I'm joined by Richard Jefferson and Greg Anthony. And David Aldridge will be reporting from the sideline. Now look at Memphis's starting group. Out in the wings for him, Smart and Bain. Jaron Jackson is out there with Bismack Biombo. And it's Morant in at the point guard. And for Toronto. Barnes and Siakam will slot in at the small and power forward. R.J. Barrett is out there with Emmanuel quickly. And it's Pirtle in at the five. Nearing the midway point of the season now, G.A., what do you think is most important for teams to focus on at this point? I think just trying to establish overall continuity. You want to head into the second half of the season with some momentum behind you, as well as just general confidence. Now, here's quickly. Siakam left side over Jackson and the rejection by Jackson smart against Barrett smart kicks to Morant back to smart five to shoot here's Biombo. Toronto grabs the miss this, of course, their first opportunity to play Memphis this season. At the Grizzlies, Richard, we've heard about an emphasis on defense in the past few years. Yeah, and there has been some improvement. They were a middle-of-the-road type defensive team not too long ago. But the last few seasons, they have played impact. Oh, oh wow. my goodness. Man. Ooh, as usual, Morant bringing down the house. Awesome rewind, courtesy of the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Back to Barnes. Pass to Quickly. He's looking for Pirtle and finds him. First shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. Defense tries to throw off Pirtle's motion, but the big man, he stays strong. Here's Morant. He dishes it to Jackson. Siakam inside. Guarded by Jackson. Score of the basket. Nice shot after missing his first attempt. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. You just dream of them. He'll gladly take those. And the foul on Marcus Smart. That is his first foul of the game. Oh, great defense. They anticipated the play and got there first. Santi Aldama's checked in for the Grizzlies. Here's Siakam. Grizzlies with the rebound. We've got 148 left in the first quarter of the game. Barrett against Smart. The pass to Bain. That one's not going to go. And so Siakam will bring it up for the Raptors. RJ, if you redrafted the 2020 draft, Desmond Bain would go much higher than number 30. Yeah, he was a steal at number 30, and he would probably go top five in a redraft. He is an elite shooter who continues to grow as a playmaker and defender. Aldama finds Jackson. Over Barrett. And the basket by Jackson. Nice play by Jackson Jr. Just taking what the defense gives you. Quickly against Morant. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And you know, Greg, they call him IQ. Instant offense is Emmanuel Quickly. Yeah, and he puts points on the board quickly. <laughs> no pun intended. A volume three-point shooter and has a deadly little floater in the lane. Shooting two. First free throw is good. And one outstanding things the Raptors do, Greg. They really protect the ball. 
Yeah, even when they're not playing their best, they don't give away games with mistakes. They force you to find other ways to beat them. Here's what Toronto's going with right now. Young's checked in for Jakob Pertl. Chris Boucher comes in for Pascal Siakam. Trent's checked in for Scotty Barnes. And Dennis Schroeder subbed in for Barrett. We'll see if they want to trade two for one here. Got to time up that clock to do so. Pass to Conshaw. Here's Roddy. Boucher defending. Shot clock at five to the middle. Boucher with the steal. Last break. Here come the Raptors. Quickly with it. Williams picks him up. And that one's good. Schroeder. It, it really does make the game easy for your teammates when you can lead them to the rim that well with the pass. Schroeder against Williams. Pulls from the top of the key, and he got that one up in time, but doesn't go in. And that does it for the first quarter. Raptors lead by four. We'll be back shortly, live from Toronto. And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And guys, what's your take on Toronto so far? I mean, offensively, I thought they did a good job of protecting the ball. And defensively, boy, were they disrupted. Winning the turnover battle is so important. They've been sharp so far, and it's showing up on the scoreboard. The Grizzlies trail by four. There's Boucher out there with Gary Trent. Then there's Emmanuel quickly. And it's Young, and it's Schroeder in at the point. So that's the five in the game for Toronto. Passes to Tillman. Six on the shot clock over Young. Tillman's shot is off. And the defense was all over him once he got in close. Didn't want him to get too comfortable. Here's Trent. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Trent's got the lead up to six now for the Raptors. Yeah, and they're shooting really starting to pick up here in the second. And Williams gets it to go on the assist by Morant. And, Greg, when things go crazy, coaches are often the first to go. But how often does that improve things? Sometimes it goes the opposite direction, Kevin. But the simple fact is it's usually easier to change the coach than it is to turn over the roster. One of the most dynamic passers to enter this league in a while, Morant. This man is in full control of the offense. Schroeder kicks to Boucher. Pass to Quickly. And the layup falls. And that's an example of playing big, adapting to the situation. Also relying on his skill there. That's a nice move against Lane. The pass to Concho. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. Yeah, the drive to the bucket was great, but the finger roll was even better. Oh, G.A., the long arms and athleticism up and down this roster for the Raptors. It is something. Yeah, they, they have a type that they're looking for. Blocks, steals, deflections, all coming in bunches. The activity will be there. So timeout called here, the first for the Raptors. With the Grizzlies, Richard, there's so much talent. They just haven't made a big run in the postseason. Yeah, it's coming. They've lost to the Warriors, and they've lost to the Lakers the last two years. Both of these teams just have a tremendous amount of an experience advantage versus the Grizzlies, and it's shown. And Toronto will go for a different look here. Pirtle, he's checked in for Young. Pascal Siakam comes in for Chris Boucher. Scotty Barnes, he's checked in for Gary Trent. And R.J. Barrett subbed in for Quickly. 
Here's Barrett. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. And at 6'7", Barrett with terrific positional size, which allows him to create problems for defenders down low. And guys, let's get Super your take two. on the scoring breakdown for the Raptors. The ball movement has been outstanding so far. They've come out of the gate looking for that extra pass. And also, guys, they're out-muscling their opponent. The points in the paint are piling up because of that aggressiveness. And so Barrett nails both of them. And what you like about Barrett is his all-around game. A versatile guard slash forward who wants to keep improving. Smart with the ball. Now guarded by Siakam. Bain looking around. Over Barnes. Bain no good. Credit the defensive effort there, not giving him room to operate. Greg talking about Jakob Pertl, it doesn't seem like he gets enough credit for his defense. I don't think he does. I mean, he's an excellent rim protector and rebounder and a big man who just takes pride in defending. He gets a lot of defensive attention, but Morant, he can expect this type of rough scene anytime he takes it inside. Here's Schroeder. Goes back up. And Pirtle lays it up and in. How about the purpose with which he's crashing the backboards right now? Some hard-earned second-chance points. Pass to Bain. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Scotty Barnes picks one up. All the officials are all over that one. First trip to the line for him here. And worth mentioning, guys, the free throw percentage he brought in from last season, how about 88%? Good, Bain. Dix checked in for the Raptors. And Memphis also making a switch. Aldama's checked in. And so he makes both from the line. No surprise there. He's about as automatic as it gets from the stripe. I hope I didn't jinx him. Here's Dick. Guarded by Smart. Dick can't get it to go. The Grizzlies have gone four of six from the field here in the second. Down low, Jackson. The shot goes down and it gets this game back to even. Jackson's got his second bucket of the night. Love the power finish from Jaron Jackson pushing right through the contact. And here in the second quarter of action, as we approach four minutes played, the drive by Schroeder. That's basket number two with his third shot off to a fast two for three. Morant against Schroeder. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. It's on Dennis Schroeder. From his first day in the league, opponents are going to make him earn it at the line. And look, Morant, he'll give him an easy look. This is his first free throw of the game. And he buried a bunch of shots from the stripe in that last game. That's good from Morant. In an era where so many point guards are three-point shooters, Ja Morant, you know what? This man is built different. He's more of a throwback. Ja wants to apply pressure by driving, not shooting threes. No good on the second free throw. It's stolen by Aldama. Just three on the clock, and the layup by Jackson. Jackson's got six points. And he's no stranger to contact inside. Love watching Jackson bully his way through aggressive defense. And that'll do it for the first half. A competitive game so far. Grizzlies out in front. Up one.
We're going to step away briefly, but get you right back out here for the start of the third quarter after our halftime. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Good to see you back here on our halftime show. Well, actually, we can't see you, but you can see us, but you get it. Ernie Johnson, Kenny the Jet Smith, Shaquille O'Neal. You're watching the NBA on 2K Sports. For the Grizzlies, the first quarter was pretty even, and they kept it close, trailing by, at the most, four points. They came together in the second period and managed to claw their way to a one-point lead. Kenny, what was your take on Memphis? Well, I like what I've seen on the offense. They're keeping things simple, getting to their spots, and executing. Nothing fancy. Kind of like Shaq Su. Shaq, let's get your insight on Toronto. Their defense has been dismal, allowing their opponent to shoot in the 60s. I'm sure they're getting an earful in the locker room. Amazing they've been able to keep it close. Boy. That about wraps it up. Time now for the second half of the game. We go to Kevin Harlan for the call. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. You look at Jaron Jackson. What a contribution. The way he was able to finish on the block was incredible there in that first half. The question now is will the defense keep letting him punish them inside? Or did Coach have some new ideas for them? Second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far. Kicking off the second half, here's Taylor Jenkins' five. Morant in the backcourt with Smart to his side. The forwards for him, Bain and Jackson. And it's Biombo at the five spot. Siakam outside. Barrett with the ball. Shot clock at six. I see the stat sheet here for Pascal Siakam. On the night, he's gone two for two at the stripe. And he shot 74 from the line a season ago. No good on the free throw. And he sinks the second. Memphis leading. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Thanks very much, Kevin. Toronto has a new head coach in Darko Rajakovic. He started coaching at 16 in his home country of Serbia. So even though he's still young, he's already a lifer. In his near decade as an NBA assistant coach, he made a name for himself in player development. Of course, Kevin, that's going to be essential now with the rebuilding Raptors. It is, but I love his resume. His story is terrific. He is just what they need. David, thank you. Can't nail the jump. No clue how he misfired on that shot. You don't see that from him very often. You know what you love seeing from Pascal Siakam is his confidence continuing to grow. And Kevin, especially when it comes to scoring. Pascal understands how valuable he is to his team and how much they lean on him to step up on that end. They timed up the layup perfectly. The D saw it develop and got there to bother the shot. And you have to be impressed with Siakam's length, especially when you see him put it to use defensively. Trent's checked in for Barnes. Then for the Grizzlies, Roddy's checked in. And Conchar subbed in for John Morant. Smart against quickly. To the left wing. For the three. Roddy no good. Oh man, you know he'd love to have that one over. Unloads from 13. It's rebounded by Roddy. And the Grizzlies leading by four. And here's Smart. Nothing on the board. Roddy the pass to Biombo. And Pirtles sends it back. 
He's quick to read and react on deep. Hurdle can really disrupt an opponent's offense. And that is a textbook example of how to defend your rim. This is why he's out there. In situations like this, he stands tall to prevent points. Here's Quickly. Hurdle kicks to Quickly. That one's good from the corner. Quickly's got six. They don't lean on Pirtle for facilitation, but he's certainly not selfish with the ball. And the Grizzlies call their first time out of the game. And team strategies closely guarded. One aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to. And we see it so often. One little tweak to the game plan and everything falls into place for a team. Some changes for Toronto. Chris Boucher is checked in for Siakam. McDaniels comes in for R.J. Barrett. And Dennis Schroeder subbed in for quickly. Memphis also making some changes. Tillman's checked in. And Santi Aldama is subbed in for Bain. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Yeah, as soon as these guys feel contact, they are just disappearing like they're not even there. You got to show some fire and keep defending. To the left side wing. Here's Eldama. Wow, came this close to a four point play. He'll head to the line for three free throws. Yeah, good job trying to get a hand in the face, but you've got to be more careful. The Grizzlies have shot 75% at the line tonight, going three for four. And their success rate on the season, right around 77%. And he can't get the first one. The Raptors making a switch here. Dix checked in. And the second free throw, good. trail by five there's 31 seconds left to play in the third and it's in there for Memphis they've gone three of eight so far in the third quarter looking to lock in that rhythm outside Williams pass to Aldama shoots the three Boucher with the rebound Now, McDaniels, it's blocked, and they recover it. Here's Dick, and we just finished the third quarter, and we've got a tight ball game here. Grizzlies lead by three. We'll be back shortly, live from Toronto.
and a chance right now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them, and what a beautiful feat. Serving it up on a platter, that is a beautiful dish. And two teammates on the same page? Woo! And it's been a very competitive game so far as we get rolling here in quarter number four. Big men in the four form. It's Siakam and Pirtle. Dennis Schroeder is out there with R.J. Barrett. And it's Barnes and at the three, the small forward. So that's the five in the game for Toronto. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Pass to Bain. Takes the three. Good and a nice assist from Morant. And the Grizzlies lead by four. The vision, the ability to throw every type of pass. Morant's already reached an elite level as a playmaker. Siakam finds Barrett. And there's the drive. Lays it up and banks it in. Barrett's got four points now in the quarter. And you want him taking big shots for you in big moments. That one was as easy as it gets. Yeah, it's clear why they go to him in these moments. They know he's going to deliver for them. Just the kind of play they need in a game this close. You know, that's the kind of aggression they want from their floor leader. No doubt. That's the kind of play that can energize the whole team. And they will take it in a close game like this. Fast break Memphis. You're smart. And slam dunk by Smart. Terrific job pushing the ball in transition. Marcus Smart coming away with an easy bucket. Here's Siakam. That's tipped. They recover it. Here's Bain. The shot will not fall. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. Excellent D. Avoided fouling and got in perfect position to alter that shot. Give him a chance to pull off something special and he will take it. And so it's smart. He'll bring up the ball for Memphis. They lead by four. And the pass to Aldama. Pirtle with the steal. Out of the key, Siakam. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Massive hoop there from Siakam. We've seen him do it in the finals. This guy showing he's made the big moment. The baseline J. Jump shot is good. Moran's got four points this quarter. Get this man the ball, and he will make something happen. Morant rises to the occasion. Man. Toronto calls timeout. They're trailing by four. 137 left in the fourth quarter. present our New Balance player of the game, John Morant. And in terms of his shooting, this has been one of the more accurate performances you'll ever see. I mean, he's been in constant motion, creating a lot of good looks for himself. But, but still, even when you're wide open, you expect to miss some of the time. And that has not been the case here tonight. This guy has made everything. And now the latest from our reporter, David Aldridge. Thanks, guys. During the last break, listened in on Darko Ryakovich talking to his team. They said, let's lock in, keep our focus. We need everyone down the stretch. Now his players looked engaged, so I think the message got across. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. Nice shot by Smart. And a closer look here at the hustle stats for the Grizzlies. All you have to do is look at one stat, and that is their block numbers. It tells you how tight their D has been. They've been going out of their way to smother the defense. 
And I'll tell you, the energy they've shown in the open floor, boy, it has been terrific, doing a phenomenal job converting in those situations. Now a timeout called by Memphis. They're up by four. 102 left in the game. And the whistle blows in the backcourt violation. He went over and back. There's Siakam. Passed her quickly. He lobs it up. And out of bounds out of as the Grizzlies gain possession. That pass wandered off target. Can't lose focus on the little bitty things. And Morant's got the ball here for the Memphis Grizzlies. Four-point game. Morant surveying the D. Passes it to Eldama. And he commits the intentional foul. First, and that puts them up by five. And so he drops them both. It's a six point ball game. I'm not going to lie, that's big making all of those, giving them a little bit more breathing room. Can't waste any time here. It needs to be a quick shot, then a quick foul. Siakam with it. Aldama's there. Just five to shoot. Hurdle. It falls! Time and out, now out. they trail by just four. I really like what the defense is thinking, but against Pirtle inside, you really have to go at him. Now a timeout called by Memphis. They're up by four. We've got 13 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. And now an intentional foul. They need the ball back as soon as possible. Honestly, just doing what they have to in order to get the basketball back. Take a break. Take a break. 
Two shots. He drops the first one, and that puts them up by five. So he goes two for two at the one, and it's a six-point ball game. Making no mistakes and putting some extra nails in the coffin right here. That pretty much do it. Toronto calls timeout. They're trailing by six. 11 seconds left to play here in the fourth. Guys, your thoughts? There's still a sliver of hope. We've seen teams come back from this before. Smart to take the timeout and get everybody focused on exactly what needs to be done. For three, Barrett. It's money from deep. And coming through in a big way, you have to love Barrett there. Taking over down the stretch. And now they foul and stop the clock. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Gets the first, and that gives them a four-point cushion. The confidence Morant has in himself is impressive. He brushes pressure off like it's nothing. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a five-point game. Six seconds left in the fourth quarter. And here's Barnes for three. Wow, drew the contact, and that three almost went in. So he'll go to the line for three free throws. It's going to be on Desmond Bain. Three shots. So the first of three is good, and that shrinks the margin to just four. He makes the second free throw, and that narrows the lead down to just three. And so he's good on all three free throws, and that brings them within two here. And now we've got the intentional foul. Shooting two. First free throw is good, and that makes it a three-point lead. And so both free throws are good. And it's a four-point ball game. So a close game sees Memphis take this one. This was a hard-fought, well-earned victory for him, Greg. They really had to work for this win. Yeah, that's a good point. I mean, weaker teams might have buckled at the end with the crowd amped up, everyone in the building kind of rooting against you. But they stood tall and pulled it out. Well said. And now, let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline for our player of the game. David, take it away. 
Thanks very much, Ja. A lot of swag on this team tonight. Who's responsible for that confidence? I feel like we all talk to each other, even the coaching staff. Coach let us play with a lot of freedom. Everybody has the green light. So, I mean, there's no no reason to lack confidence when you have a coach who believes in you um, every step of the way and just let you go out there and play your game. So, uh, we always just preach, you know, keep shooting, make or miss, and we're behind you, coach. You all look like a confident bunch, man. Congrats on the win. Back to you. Thank you for that, David. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. This is Kevin Harlan saying thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.